Welcome back to another vlog. I am in kind of a rush this morning because I'm going to get my hair cut in like 20 minutes. I need at least like 10 minutes to walk there and I am just running late. I'm working today. It's Wednesday and yeah, I just got a late start to my morning. I've had a, like a pretty busy, well, I had a pretty busy morning with work, but in terms of like getting ready and getting dressed and everything, I had a very late start. Jordan actually let me sleep in. He woke up um, around 6.30 and I just like could not get out of bed. We've been waking up really early every single morning, but I had a weird allergic reaction last night and it's been happening, it's very strange. It's been happening only at night and it's like my, only my right side of my face. It's very strange. I don't really, really don't understand what's going on, but it happened twice last week and obviously happened last night. So I took an allergy pill last night. It's actually for anxiety, but it's like a strong allergy pill essentially. So I took that and it worked, but it makes me so freaking tired and so drowsy. I, I slept like a baby last night, but I also still feel like I could fall back asleep right now. And it's like 10, no, it's like 11.30. So I'm just doing some light makeup right now. Been doing makeup like every single day, really, um, ever since I've been doing this whole month, really. Anytime I get dressed, I'm like, well, I might as well just put some makeup on, feel better about myself. <laughs> it's been a while since I got my hair cut. It's actually been since May. I mentioned that in my last vlog. I'm very, very overdue, but my hair is like, as you can tell, it's pretty long right now. Um, so I really just want. I'm gonna ask her to give me a lot of layers, a lot of face framing layers, um, just layers in general. I think my favorite way to do my hair is really to give it a blowout. I think that people forget that that's very hard to achieve unless you have layers, in my opinion, in your hair. So I, and I have none of that right now. My hair is just like, it falls flat. It's like just one length all around. All my layers grew out, my bangs grew out. I'm just gonna get slight curtain bangs, nothing nothing like I did. Well, I guess you guys weren't, I wasn't even vlogging the last time I got my hair cut, but last time I got my hair cut, I got my bangs cut pretty short. They were like around my eye. We're not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna do probably like here, underneath my jaw. Yeah. I think my shortest one is probably like here. Yeah, you can't even tell. Anyway, place I go if you are local to Philadelphia, it's in Fishtown. It's called Ashley Bosman Studio. I see Stephanie. I love her. I've been seeing her for over a year. I really like her. I feel like I'm pretty picky with who does my hair. I just feel like, I don't know, a lot of years in the, in the past, I've like just gone through a lot of different hairstylists and I really like Stephanie. I think she does a good job. She listens to me. What time is it? Okay, it's 11.40. We're in like 10 minutes, so. Yeah, we're not doing well. Framing layers, some layers all around. Just really clean it up. I don't want her to cut off too much length. I want her to keep the length for the most part. But I def my hair is definitely dead. Like, my dead ends are, are dead. <laughs> A little lip liner. This is Anywhere Caffeine by Makeup Forever. I really like this lip liner. It's a good basic. Drizzly outside. Is it really raining? Yeah. Not like pouring, but it's wet. Okay. Alright, so that's it on makeup. Jordan just told me it's raining. Perfect. I swear. I only get my hair cut in the rain. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so I'm just wearing denim on denim. Don't mind my socks, I need to put my boots on. Um, but just this like denim long sleeve, it's Jordan's, and then these denim flared jeans with a trench coat over because it's raining outside, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna go because I'm running late, but this is the outfit of today, minus my, I'm wearing like black pointed boots with these, with this outfit, so that's that. Yeah, I'd like to know why every single time I choose to get my hair cut, this happens. On Friday when it was snowing, I was like, great, I have to get my hair cut and it's gonna be snowing. I'm gonna have to walk back, my hair's gonna be ruined. And then Wednesday came and said, no, never mind, rain. But I'm wearing a trench coat outside. It's like 
in the 40s today, so it's really not that bad. Anyway, I gotta book it. Bye. ago but my hair is done I love it she gave me exactly what I was looking for just a lot of layers like face framing layers just basically like cut off a lot of like the dead weight I'd say but kept the length and just gave me like a lot more body and shape so love it my hair just feels so much healthier I love that I have a little bit more of like a bang back like not exactly a bang but like you know a little bit more of like a face framing piece so yay and the salon is so cute too like it's just like super girly in there i love it and it's 10 minutes away from my house so you can't beat that it's just really ugly out i'll show you yeah it's just like well you can't really tell but it's like spitting still and there's still snow like all over the ground so yeah hate it I hate it. I think I was telling you guys that I got such a good night of sleep last night, but I took that allergy medicine and I'm still tired from it. She gave me a coffee when I was there because I literally, my eyes were closing and she was like, do you need something? <laughs> I was so tired. I also got magnesium. Yeah, right? Is that what focus? Doctor's best. I don't know. I saw that that TikTok, like the sleepy girl mocktail or whatever. So I wanted to try it. So it was a complete fail. I got this. I got just got this in the mail on Amazon the other day, and I thought they were capsules, but they're not. They're like, yeah, but they're like these things, not a capsule. I mean, it's a capsule, but like you have to crush it up. So that was a fail. And then I got like black cherry juice instead of tart cherry juice, which. I guess is com a completely different thing. So when I went to try to make the mocktail, the mocktail last night, it was a complete fail. But I did take two of these because I think I mentioned Jordan and I have been having really, uh, just like a really hard time sleeping because we're getting, we're getting into bed earlier, but I just cannot fall asleep. Like, I don't know what it is. Last night I didn't have any trouble because I took that allergy medicine, which obviously makes me drowsy. But I also am like extra tired today and I'm wondering if this has anything to do with it. Jordan took it too and he said he didn't really realize much of a difference. And he said he didn't end up going to sleep, like actually falling asleep until like 12.31. But we'll see. I don't think it's like anything bad to take. So I'm just going to keep taking this and see how I feel. And like falling asleep is any easier. Once I'm asleep, I don't really have much problems staying asleep. But it, obviously it's just like getting there. It's the process of getting to sleep. So whatever what are we doing it's like almost two o'clock now i just had chili i was starving and jordan and i made some chili on sunday and it's so good it's just been lasting me all week no we didn't make it sunday we made it monday night um it's awesome i think it's like the best chili recipe that he's made in a really long time he puts i like was about this but i just let him do his thing he put chocolate in it like dark chocolate and it i swear it like i don't know it emphasizes like the rest of the flavors in there too it's so it's so good i such a good hearty meal especially on a gloomy day and i think it's supposed to be gloomy like the rest of the week too oh, i want to make a little bit of a smoothie i haven't made a smoothie in a really long time and we have a lot of fresh fruit right now along with frozen so i think i'm gonna do that and then just finish up the work day here and that's pretty much it i don't really have much going on today so yeah i'm gonna go make the smoothie now and then catch up with you guys a little bit later <music> Friday. I think the last time I picked up my camera was Wednesday when I got my hair cut. Um, just been a busy couple of days at work, so I haven't really vlogged anything. But I just got ready and put some makeup on, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? I have seen the trend of like what's in your bag all over like YouTube and TikTok, and I was like, wait, that would be so fun. But oh, I just did my makeup, and I was like, maybe I can just kind of run you guys through like what is in my makeup bag. I thought that could be fun, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but yeah, happy Friday! I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. 
I am wearing those same jeans that I had on probably on Wednesday. These are just like my dark flared, ooh, dark flared denim jeans. I'm actually renting them from Newly, and I probably mentioned that on Wednesday. And then this sweater, honestly, I do not know where this is from. Me, maybe Nordstrom. I don't know. I've had it for a while, um, but I just tucked it in with this belt that I got from Zara. I love this belt so much, but um, freaking broke. Like the little like black piece of fabric right here that's kind of supposed to like keep this from happening broke off. So I have to figure out, I want to super glue it honestly, because I love this belt so, so much. And it's just like a really good chunky belt that wasn't $150 because I bought one from Revolve and I returned it because I was like, wait, I found this. And this was like under 50 bucks, which I just love it. Like the hardware is really nice. I don't know. It was like a collaboration that Zara did with someone named Steve, Steven Meisel, Meisel? I don't know. Not sure, but I do love it. I like these jeans, but I don't love the stitching on them. I feel like it just reminds me of like true religion jeans that you would get like in high school. I don't know. I feel like it's just, the stitching makes it look like a little outdated to me maybe, but I don't know. I actually had on, hold on. I actually had on like skinny jeans earlier and I was like, shit, is this, like, is this embarrassing? But I took them off just cause I didn't love the color of the jeans with this black top. So whatever, but you know what? I'm going to wear what I have because what are we on day 25 of 75 hard? And it's, it's hard. It's hard out here. Like I, I think I'm at the point now where I'm like, I'm kind of getting bored of doing this. <laughs> Not bored. I think I'm just like, I want to buy clothes. I think, yeah, I have an addiction to clothes. I have an addiction to clothes. You know what I mean? I hate to say that, but it's true. And it's really hard just like going on social media and seeing everyone post a haul or like post just like a new thing. Like I saw one sweater that I was like, oh, you know what? I know that if I bought this, I would wear it all the time. Like it would be such a good staple. And I'm like, but I can't buy it. And then it's gonna sell out and then I'll think about like it's just like those little things that it's all first world problems but it's not even a problem it's just my own issue of not being able to not buy something so whatever this is my version of a Stanley Cup my um my sister-in-law got this for me for my birthday I love it I think it holds like 40 ounces of water but I hurt I have like tennis elbow somehow I think that's what it is or my tricep or whatever something on this right arm is just killing me so I can't like hold this with this arm as stupid as it sounds I think I literally injured my arm from tugging rope with Bible and I know that sounds so fucking lame but it's true so yeah I didn't really work out this that much this week because I just can't do pl like there's nothing in Pilates that I can do that's not gonna involve my arms. Like even when I'm lying down and like doing core stuff, I feel like I'm still having so much tension in my triceps and that's what like is killing, I'm holding with my hand, and that's what's killing my arms. So I think I wanna do like a little weekend in my life. So I'll probably like start another vlog after this vlog, but I don't know. Also, I put out a little like recreating Pinterest outfits. That was my last video that I put out. And let me know if you guys like those types of videos. Like I feel like I flip flop between like styling videos and then just like regular vlogs, which I personally like to do. So I don't know. I'm just like not sure who's following me for like styling versus like vlogs because I feel like, I don't know, I like doing both and makeup stuff. I don't know. I'm just a girl, you know? I was just doing makeup and I was like, you know what? That would be fun to show you what's in my makeup bag. So Let's do that. Let me get it also. Oh. One sec. Should we just do it right here? I don't know. You know what? No. I want to lay down. I want to lay down. I want to sit down. Let me take you. We're in my bedroom right now. And I have like the best light. Well, holy shit. Not right there. Where's my... Okay. So, makeup bag. Let me just take a moment for the bag. The bag is cute. I've had this for four years. Like, it is... It's disgusting. And I know that. And I don't care because it's a Prada bag and I think it's just so cute. And it's, like, so compact, too. It's really small, but it fits so much. And my Aunt Carol got me this. She always gets me really cute little baller gifts. So, shout out to Aunt Carol. I know you watch these videos and I love you. I have a big, like, a larger bag of makeup, but I like to keep 
my everyday items in a smaller compact bag just in case I want to go traveling or if I'm leaving for the day and I just like want to throw my makeup in a bag. I like to have just something in a more compact space. I also think that the less options for me, the quicker I get ready. So this is why I do that. So yeah, if you ever find that like you just are always like looking for something or you can't find a certain item in your makeup bag, like honestly, it's probably because you have too much stuff and just put the things that you use every single day in a smaller compact bag, it's helpful. We're gonna start with some blushes. So I have the in the Nude Sticks blush, the in the Nude, and Sunkissed. I love these. They're very, very similar to be honest. Be showing them in this, but I really like them. Use them both at the same time. Like I have both of them on today. I love these blushes. I've talked about them like in my favorites. I've talked about them multiple times on this vlog channel. Obsessed with nude sticks, they're the best. I just think these are great everyday colors for my skin tone too. I'll paint um, cream blush in, what is this, haze. I really like this. I will use this over top of those two blushes. That's honestly what I have on today. You initially first put it on, it's like crazy, but it really blends out, blends out really nicely. And actually it's a really buildable color and I think it gives a really nice like cold girl vibe. I love that blush. I've had that for literally years and it lasts for a really long time. I love it. We have a little Minna, Minna, mini Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Setting Powder. I love Huda Beauty because it smells, one, it smells really good and I love that it's like, um, the undertone is pink. I think that's just really good. I've been using this powder and then the Givenchy Prism. I don't have that one. I have that one in my big bag. I will honestly like, I interchange them. Like sometimes I'll use the Givenchy and then sometimes I'll use this. Um, I think I like the Givenchy just like slightly better. I feel like it gives kind of more of like a poreless vibe. Anytime I get a setting powder, I honestly will always get the mini version because like, this doesn't run out. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's all I need. <laughs> also a little mini version. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, I don't even know what this is called, honestly. It's like they're just little, they're a little setting powder. This is in shade medium. I love this stuff. Again, I don't buy it in a, like the large version. I just do the mini size all the time because it's really all I need. I always put it like honestly like in my creases. I feel like it like makes your smile lines kind of disappear. Okay, next, the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. I use it every single day. I use this shade to highlight my nose and then the shade is always on my eyes. I have it on my eyes right now. I will literally just put it, I have a mirror right here. I will just put it just right there. Um, I'm obsessed with this color. I think it works really, really nice with olive skin tone, this like creamy pink. And I think this is the one highlighter that I've tried, powder highlighter, that doesn't look chalky on my skin. It doesn't like emphasize my texture. Not a big person who loves to put on highlighter on your cheekbone. I just, again, I never feel like it looks that natural, but if I were to do that, it would be this palette. This will stay with me for a while. I swear to God, if it breaks, I will die. Next powder blush. This is the one that I've been, like I have not been using another one other than this one. This is my MAC. This is Koi Girl. You can tell how old this is. Like it's not going literally anywhere. MAC blushes are so underrated. I grew up being the MAC girl. Like I would spend all of my money, all my allowance money at MAC and I've had this for so long and it's just, it's not going anywhere. I use it all the time. It's great color payoff. It's the most beautiful mauve. Like Tell me that's not stunning if it would focus. I love that. I love, love, love it so much. Obsessed with this color. I have it on right now. Again, MAC blushes. I really want to try Copper Tone from MAC. I saw a viral TikTok of it and it looks like kind of like a bronzer contoury blush all in one and I need to try it. So, um, all right, eyebrow. I use one eyebrow pencil or product. This is the, sorry guys, I'm looking at my viewfinder because I need to make sure that this, Focuses. I'm getting used to this camera if you can't tell. Okay, this is the just like little Sephora brow pencil. I love these. I think these are underrated. They're the cheapest brow pencil that you can get at Sephora and I just think they do a good job. It's a really, really small little like micro tip. It actually just ran out today. Um, the one that I think like I, I do like better than this is the Kosas one. I think that has like the smallest tip I've ever seen. <laughs> This, this is medium brown. Next, I have my foundation. This is also a mini version. Again, I just, I stay buying mini versions. You can't convince me otherwise. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Obsessed with this. I use it in 3.5. I really love this stuff though. I've been using it for, for years. You really want to try the House Labs foundation and I also might 
retry the hour elastic foundation or the cream foundation i think cream foundations give you like the most like full coverage just like beautiful skin for this but this is just like my everyday and this isn't going anywhere i need to use this up before i get anything else but yeah this is always in my makeup bag and again it's the smaller version it lasts me a very long time i use this on a weekly basis almost every single day this is my little setting sprout my little setting spray so this is not the benefit poor for poor professional i've tried it it's fine but this is the charlotte tilbury i just put it in this little mini bottle so that it stays in my mini makeup bag. Charlotte Tilbury is the best setting spray. You cannot, cannot convince me. Otherwise, I'll show you concealer. The one and only House Labs concealer. You know, it's, it's just the best. I will use this one and my hourglass, like my hourglass. Sometimes I'll put it like underneath right here and then this will go in my outer corner. Same with the T Natasha Denona one. I love all three of those, but um, right now this has just kind of like been my favorite Hourglass will always be in my top favorite though. Um, and I use shade 24 light medium neutral. It's supposed to be a creaseless concealer. We all know that that's like not humanly possible, but I do think it does a pretty good job for being like almost creaseless. So next, my eyelash curler. I really don't use mascara very much. Like unless I'm going out at night, I won't really use it. Sometimes even then I don't use it, but I do think investing in a really good eyelash curler is so worth it. This is the Shiseido one. I got this last year and I'm not looking back. I really do think that if you are like me and have really straight short lashes, having an eyelash curler and just curling your lashes um, is going to bode well and, and honestly like work better at keeping your lashes looking awake than if you were to like weigh them down with mascara. I really do find that my eyelashes will stay curled all day long when I just curl them and I don't put any mascara on. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if I'm using the wrong mascara, but that's just what's worked for me. Um, sometimes I'll even like put my blow dryer on the like basically like the rubber part of this and then I'll curl them. Good eyelash curler. It's a really good investment for me particularly, so I love that one. Next are all lip products. If you've been following my channel, you know that's like my favorite part of makeup. Um, let me start with some lip liners. These are the three that I've been using the most, and I love them all very much equally. Um, well, no, that's not true. Let me start with my favorite. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is in Foxy Brown. I've talked about this a million times on my channel. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's the most perfect, like, neutral warm brown I'd say and then a next one is cork this is newer to my collection it's very very similar this is cork it's just a little bit more um cool tone brown I'd say but I love them both very much I do think that Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit easier to glide on I think MAC is just a little bit drier but lasts a little bit longer so pick your poison you know what I mean um, and then last but not least, one of my faves is Charlotte, is Patrick Ta, sorry, in, I think it's She's Strong. Yeah, She's Strong. I'm obsessed with this one. This is the one I have on now. This is, yeah, so She's Strong, Cork, and then Foxy Brown. I love them. I think that this is a really, really nice neutral during the day type lip liner. That's what I have on my lips right now. I'm obsessed with this one. I've had this forever, and I think that the best part of, Charlotte, of Patrick Ta lip liners is that they're on an angle um, and that there's, it's also a little click so you don't have to sharpen them and they're on an angle so it's easier to contour your lips and like overline them all that stuff obsessed with Patrick Ta. I don't really think it's a large range of colors but I think he just does a really good job at the colors that he has you know another one of my favorites is Oshi single I just can't find it right now I don't, it would probably be in this bag if I could find it but I can't um, all right and then last but not least are my little lip products my lip glosses these are really just like the ones that i've been using they're newer so i've been using them more but okay nyx butter gloss and madeline and it's a really really nice if you are looking for a good cool tone lip gloss this your girl come on i need another one because it's totally running out but um, and then next is MAC and Cultured. I showed this on my other vlog. Um, I really like this one. It's so pretty. It's like a pink with some rose gold flecks in it. Literally smell so good. And yeah, I'm going to put on every single lip gloss I'm showing you right now. <laughs> okay, next, Patrick Ta. Also showed this. I recently got this one. It's called the Major Glow Lip Shine. And she's an influencer. 
that is that i love it like tell me that's not just stunning this is a great everyday one and it's like i think it's also kind of rose goldish but like definitely less pigmented and a little bit more like um what's the word light reflecting i don't know gloss i love i love this one this i think looks good with like everything this is the last thing in my makeup bag and this is like definitely my favorite lip gloss of the year i just like love the packaging i love the brand and i love the lip gloss so this is the hourglass little i don't know what this is called but it's the plumping lip gloss this is in 120 desire obsessed with this color um i love the fact that it's like a little like push pop really you can just twist it up and it's up oh no i used way too much okay shit whatever look at that color oh stunning we're gonna have to put it on definitely a little bit darker has a little bit of a plumping effect not too much to the point where it's like gonna sting your lips or anything so that's why i really love it i think it's just such a nice smooth application it lasts a long time it's not sticky but it's glossy enough like it's a perfect mixture of like a lipstick and a lip gloss if that makes sense and that is what is in my makeup bag and like look at this all this stuff fits in here and and then some like i still have like tons of more room and it has a little zipper component right there too obsessed with this little bag yeah that is what is in the makeup bag i literally just feel like the early youtube days are coming back or at least i want them to and so yeah that is the inspiration of today's little video i also want to do like a regular what's in my bag because i've always wanted to do that <laughs> me being like an og youtube fan i've always wanted to make a video like that so that will be coming i'm gonna go wash all of this off my hand and then get back to my day my day we are gonna go and have like a game a game night with all of our friends at our neighbor's house which will be fun i don't know what games we're playing but that'll be fun and then tomorrow jordan and i have no plans we're gonna try to do like a a no phone saturday to be a little bit more present because i've been on my phone a lot and i need to chill um <laughs> And then Sunday, I'm just gonna like get brunch with my two girlfriends. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy for this weekend. But I do wanna, I think I wanna like vlog a little bit tomorrow. Um, or maybe tonight, I'm not sure. Yeah. But I'm probably gonna end off this vlog right here. So if you guys are still here and watching, thank you so much for supporting my channel. As always, if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I put out new content every single week. But yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.